Here's how I've made a performance improvement in Armor Alley. Armor Alley is effectively a real-time strategy game. Your goal is to fly a helicopter around, get a van to the enemy base, and take out the bad guys along the way. In the game, there are these text-based tips that scroll by from right to left. From the original game, there are over a hundred elements. That's over a hundred thousand pixels to render. Here's the full screen view that you see, and the little green line is the text from all those tips. That's a lot. Here's the refactored version, where I just show two tips at a time. And as one scrolls off the screen out of the view, we recycle it and append it to the right. So again, tip scrolls off the left, we put it on the right, and give it the new text. Much more efficient. Here's how it works. As a tip scrolls off to the left, there's a CSS animation driving this. We catch an on animation end event. When the animation end event fires, we know the tip is off screen. You can reappend it, and the original tip is now on the right. It can then be given the new text, and the process repeats. Much better. The original game had sort of a ticker tape style where the tips would go by one character at a time. And I thought that's all right, but I, I decided to go with a smooth scroll instead. It seems to fit the rest of the game style better. Here's a bit more detail on the code. So the shuffle tips function just grabs all the nodes from the DOM and then shuffles them. So they're random in order. Render an animation node, which is where I'm pulling the on animation end event. And then two divs that render the tip on the left and tip on the right. The show next tip function on the right, that's responsible for rendering left and right text. In the case when a new tip has been shown, we replace all three nodes to ensure that the CSS animations restart on each one. And finally, there's the on animation end event, which takes the first node and then uses a pen child so that it ends up as the last node. And then we increment the tip counter and repeat the process. It's worth noting that this is just how I ended up refactoring this code. As I'm sure you know, programming is like philosophy. There are many different approaches and ways of thinking and, uh, this just happens to be mine. After optimization, we now have three elements and a little over a thousand pixels instead of 100,000. I call that a win. This is what performance optimization is all about. Ideally, you make it fast the first time. And if for some reason it isn't fast, or if it doesn't scale, that's when you go back and refactor.